A coroner sitting in Ikeja Magistrates Court in Lagos has banned journalists and other interested parties from covering or witnessing the inquests on the death of a student of Darwin College, Lagos, Sylvester Romani Jr. The registrar of the court announced that the hearing was mainly for lawyers while sending away newsmen. It was learned that the decision was taken due to the appearance of some senior students of Darwin College accused of beating the deceased to death who were also in court to testify. We're now being joined by a legal practitioner, Mr. Evans Ufeli and Tunde Ladele. Mr. Ufeli and Mr. Ladele, good evening to both of you. Good evening to you, Mr. Ofeli, and to you, Mr. Ladele. Good evening, I can hear you. I'm Dr. Ladele. I can hear you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on News Now tonight. You're welcome. So I'll go with you first, Mr. Evan Ofeli. Um, we've just heard a story, um, a report. Um, about a court sitting in Lagos, that's the Corona Inquest Courts, um, barring journalists and other people from participating uh, uh, in the hearing of the uh, inquest on the death of uh, Sylvester Oromoni, the student who was killed in, uh, in Darwin College. Now, looking at the law what is applicable in this sense is it okay to ban journalists from it especially with a country that has signed its um, freedom of um, information bill well yeah the, the freedom of information bill is actually a law that uh, gives everyone not journalists unfettered access to information and then uh, compel institutions, persons, and authorities to ensure that they make this information available on demand. But the case in question is quite different. Under the, the, the court system, when a case has to do with a family issue, okay, and a child is involved, how be it now dead to protect the child, okay? from um, the general court. It's what we see in court every day. Uh, the family courts and the special courts where children are involved. Um, the courts, usually, we put premium on the uttermost interests of the children. Whatever the court want to do, the court must ensure that the child is protected. Because if you look at the Child Rights Act, the underlying principle that binds the Child Rights Act from start to finish is the protection of the Nigerian child. In this case, the child is demise, okay? But the law still applies. Um, you don't open the floodgates of journalists, people from the entire public to flood the court when that issue that has to do with the child uh, is being uh, uh, handled in a court of law. It is not allowed by the, the rules of the court, the, the, the rules of the family court of legal states. You know, um, the protection of the rights and interests of the child supersedes every other consideration. I know that it is a constitutional right of journalists mm -hmm. to get information as provided under section 21 of the constitution. I know that. I also know that it's a right of everybody that the court is a public place that everyone can actually go to the court and then, but when it has to do with the child, there are special considerations that must be taken into, uh, that must be taken uh, recognizance of. And that is that we are allowing the entire public journalists or whoever to jeopardize the purpose for which 
uh, the court has convened the hearing, uh, the, 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 there is always a restriction. That is why they ask the lawyers involved, the lawyers on, on record, to come in. See, the truth is that the journalists will still get whatever information they want to get from the lawyers of both sides after sitting. Okay, so while... The most important thing is that the child is protected. Okay, so whilst I understand the, the situation surrounding this particular kind of case, um, constitutionally, and um, speaking about the law, um, this effort to guard to guard and guide the children, uh, the children's affairs, you know, also contradicts the journalist's job, which is to gather information. Of course, this is a big news that everyone wants to know per second of information, updated information about it. So then what happens? How then does the journalist, you know, do uh, is our work? while trying to gather this kind of information and already barred? The, the, the journalist will still do his work or her work. Uh, it, is not, um, it is not about the journalist here. If you look at the Child Rights Act, it's not about the journalist. Even if you look at the Constitution too, it is not about the journalist. The Constitution also have made copious rights to protect the Nigerian child. Okay? to protect them from, from dangerous exposure, and then to protect them from um, being treated in, in ways that are dehumanizing, to protect them from a lot of rights are capped under the... You see, the right of a journalist to have access to information, no right is actually absolute, because there are instances and situations where you have an exception undergarding uh, the right to, to have... Uh, 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 the, 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 the law is not that uh, the journalist must be there uh, in the courts room where a child is being... where an issue that has to do with the child is being uh, dealt with. The law is that mm -hmm. the journalists have a right to hold government accountable to the citizens. Okay? And in this case, the restrictions are placed for the purposes of protecting the right of the child, giving the, the, the right of the child an uttermost consideration, far and above every other subsidiary rights. Okay? Now, that is why uh, when the issues of custody is being handled in courts, the issue of child rights is being handled in court, child welfare, and the rest of it. Mm. You find out that they allow only counsel who are uh, who are registered in the case. Lawyers on record are the ones that sometimes they sit in chambers. Mm. They sit in chambers. The magistrate or the judge will sit in chambers to protect the child from the public. Okay, it's a normal practice uh, to lawyers, except for journalists who perhaps. Maybe some of them are witnessing this for the first time. Um, the, the right of the child supersedes whatever uh, rights or consideration that you place aside or beneath the case in question. And that is why we must understand that why the Constitution gave the journalists the right to hold government accountable to the people. It also gave children the right not to be unnecessarily exposed, okay? The right to be protected, the right to a name, the right to education and all that. They are all enshrined in the Child Rights Act. Okay, so what the court is doing in that instance is to make sure that uh, the child is protected. Because the truth is that if the court allows for everyone to come in and then for everyone to get into the arena of conflict. There are lawyers also who will go on appeal mm. after whatever decision the court has taken mm. to say that the right of the child, the child's privacy was not taken into consideration during the proceedings. Thank you so much. And that much. may lead to setting aside whatever decision that the court of first instance must have uh, taken. Thank so, you. So, I mean, we, we should understand it. Thank you, Mr. Ophelia. 
And thank you for explaining this. Um, at least a layman would understand this. Yeah. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.